everyone. Um, I wanted to touch base because something I was doing earlier on today kind of triggered something in my mind. Um, when I'm with someone in person, I a lot of times like to grab the other end of their poi and move them around and help them to feel what a weave would feel like. This really works well with the reverse weave um, because you can kind of pause in ways that gravity helps you. Um, if you are crossed with your arms like this, take the bottom poi and flip it back and move your kind of whole set of your arms over to the side. Okay, so I'll rotate like this so you can see how that, how that works. So just kind of bring it all over to this side. And then you're going to unwind and wind back up again with a new lower hand. So what was on the bottom is now on the top. And now that new lower hand is going to flip over to the other side. And you're going to unwind and rewind and flip over and do that unwind reset and flip over and do that un oops, do that unwind reset. So what happens is, like I mentioned earlier, you can count beats anywhere in the circle. And with a reverse weave, kind of makes sense to count the beats at the top because you're moving upward with your accent key. So watch, if I go up over the top, that's one beat that's gone over the top, second beat that's gone over the top, third beat that's gone over the top, I go to the other side. One beat, two beat, three beat. One beat, two beat, three beat. One beat, two beat, three beat. Now technically we're counting half beats, um, but it works because we put them together and it becomes, uh, so we've done one and a half beats on one side and one and a half beats on the other side. It's because we've got two hands in this whole bad pattern. But um, those are points of reference. So coming from the bottom, one, two, three, 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 one, two. Three, one, two. And you can kind of build it up that way, but count those beats anytime your right or left goes over the top. And you'll notice that, as predicted, the poi that's coming across your body, so right now my left hand on my right side is gonna have two beats. One, and then my right hand has one, and then my left hand has another one. You can even see in a way that they're chasing each other in line. So there's the left hand, then the right hand's like, I'm gonna get behind you. And the left hand's like, no, I'm gonna get behind you. And then I'm chasing you over to the other side. I'm going to get behind you. That's that comedy routine of the squirrels chasing each other around the tree. Um, so you can build that up. You can also, it doesn't feel quite as perfect uh, in forward. But if you count going over the bottom, so if I go down, that's one. And then I have to, this is where gravity doesn't really help us. But if this is coming over the top and that comes over the across the bottom that's two and that's three counting on the bottom and this swings down one two three and a similar thing it honestly you'll get the feel doing it in reverse better um, so work on it in reverse and see if you can piece it together in uh, forward weave I hope that helps um, I hope that clarifies uh, some of the stuff gives you another Basically with weaves, we're trying to find a few different ways to approach this problem because people will solve it in different sorts of ways. I personally like that one. I think that's honestly why I got reverse weaves first and then learned forward weaves is that sort of counting mechanism, breaking it down in a way that makes sense to your mind and body at the same time. Then your, your mind's like, wait, I forgot how that works, but my body knows it. And then you break it down again. And so... Anyways, hit me up with any questions. I hope that helps at least somebody. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.